What is going on guys? This is Benny. I hope you guys are enjoying the 20 win challenge. In the comments down below, let me know how you guys are faring. Let me know the battle deck that you're using. What's the highest wins that you got. And if you actually did end up getting the 20 wins. Uh, before we get started though, before I show you guys the 20 win battle deck and the gameplay and the match of the 20th win. I definitely would like if you guys are excited and are enjoying the vids recently. And then if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. So first up, I'm going to open up this epic chest. I don't really need, like I don't need any cards because my account, basically my account is max. The only cards that I need is the cannon cart. So hopefully we get that, and then besides that, hopefully I spend a little bit, get a bit of gold to like, basically, I didn't even get a cannon card, that's the only card that I need, and then they give me an epic chest, literally, look at this. If for those of you that don't know already, cannon card, only card that I need, right there, and I can't get it, what is this? So other than that though, I might buy these gems, because it's actually a pretty solid deal, you, you get 120 extra gems. Um, so I might buy all that on all of my accounts. We'll see maybe stay tuned for that video and I'm maxed on gold So even if I get the 20 wins, so guys Here is the battle deck for the 20 win that you guys are all wondering about here It is the 19 wins as you can see king of Latvia is what we wanted me to call him Going up against we're just gonna watch it. I'll, I'll discuss the battle deck throughout this match here You're gonna see it. It is a golem battle deck. He's going up against an expo this Expo matchup that he's facing, honestly, a lot of people are running this Expo battle deck because Siege decks are really, really strong. This Expo deck is like probably the most meta one right at, the, at this point, like because it has a fast cycle, has an Inferno Tower in there, or a, or some people run the Inferno Dragon. It depends. It depends on the player. Some people run Inferno Tower. Majority of the people are running the Inferno Dragon, and this guy that he's facing is also running the Inferno Dragon. And that's a big, big, big card that is really, really very heavily played in this tournament that I've noticed. So. Have Zaps, either have the Electro Wizard, or have a good counter to this Inferno Dragon, because so many people are running it, and the, one of the best Expo decks is running it, along with a, one of the best Golem battle decks, which is gonna win here. So King of Lafia created this battle deck, huge shout out to him. His first run through, he went 18 and three. His second run through, he won the 20 win challenge. So the reason why I'm showing you guys this battle deck is because I don't currently have the 20 win battle deck. Uh, I didn't have a whole lot of, I'm not gonna have a whole lot of time to play today actually because it's my mother's birthday So if you want to wish her happy birthday in the comments, she watches my videos, let her know um, But yeah, so I'm gonna be spending time with her and then I'll get it tonight But this morning I went 10 and 1 so I'll show you guys the battle deck that I use I'm gonna be trying later in this video to get wins But his battle deck is the golem the elixir collector the inferno dragon like I'm telling you guys the inferno dragon is such a Solid card right now that a lot of people are using it, a lot of the top battle decks because it's really hard to deal with and it takes care of a lot of the things um, so I actually made an adjustment with my battle deck to put in a Electric Wizard just for the Inferno Dragon. Um, then he has the Bandit, the Mega Knight, the Zap. I'll show you guys the total battle deck and for proof, uh, I, I, I don't know what I said there. For proof, I'll show you guys his profile after this to show you guys that he actually did get the 20 wins and that half, no, quarter of a million gold. I was going to say half a million again. Quarter of a million gold, which is insane. So once again, huge shout out to King Alapia, the first person in the clan to get it. He was, he was, we were all going crazy for him after he got his victory though, but all right. So you can see he's actually, the Golem has a great matchup versus the Expo. Expos are running rampant right now in the challenges as well. So if you don't have a good counter, or if you don't have a good matchup versus the Expo and you want to try something else, this Golem battle deck you can use as well. I was hesitant to show this video to you guys because I was going to try and use this battle deck to get my own 20 wins and then show you, but I was like, nah, I want to help out as many possible people as I can tell people of battle decks that are successful in this challenge so the two that are right now that i'm seeing a lot that are very very successful is this one right here that he created that expo battle deck that i faced that a bunch of times already and um uh, the the princess with the inferno tower the zap and it's like kind of like chip damage and you it's like the inferno tower princess it's kind of like bait the log bait the arrows and he has the knight and then the the goblin barrel in there and everything and that one's a, a, tough, a tough one to deal with as well but those are the top three that i see right now and two of those have the inferno dragon in there and one of them has the inferno tower so you guys need zaps you need like the electro wizard in there or even the lightning so you can see that was his 20 win match like i said before if you want to see the exact deck there it is um i'll actually copy that to my third slot to show you guys but here we'll go to his profile right there King of Latvia. Well, he, he, he wanted me to say, he is from Latvia, and I, I don't know exactly how to pronounce that ending. That's what he just told me. Like, I was like, how do you pronounce it? He's just like, just say King of Latvia. I know I already explained that, but 20 wins. Shout out to him. See if anyone else in the clan can get it. But other than that, the battle deck is right here, the one that I'm currently running. 
um, is this one with the Electro Wizard. I had the Ice Wizard in there, but so many people are running the Inferno Dragon. I just need to have the Electro Wizard in there just to stand a chance. So yeah, like I said, currently I'm 10 and one, but huge shout out to him in the clan. Let me know if this, if you're gonna try his battle deck, leave a like if you guys did, got the 20 wins with it, and hopefully you're doing success, or do, you're pretty successful. I actually did end up getting a magical chest legendary. I'll throw that up on the screen as well earlier today when I got my nine wins. So that was really awesome. Sadly, I have all the legendaries on this account um, because this is my max main level account. I'll play this, the challenge of the 10 wins, or not the 10 wins, the 20 win challenge on my level 10. But all right, guys, wish me luck. You guys already have seen my battle deck in action. It's pretty solid too. I'm hoping I can take this to 20 wins though, for the fact that it's the battle deck that I created and I want to see if I can get it up there. That's my my reasoning for it. So I'll throw it on the Elixir Collector. <clears throat> I'm not sure. It's either probably going to be my battle deck or a similar P.E.K.K.A battle deck or Golem. So I'll just kind of wait it out, see what he drops. Okay, it's going to be Golem. So we're going to push this side. Hopefully he does not have an Inferno Dragon. Hopefully, if he does, it's going to be a really tough matchup for me if it's like similar to King's Battle deck, so we'll see here. This could be very interesting. I would like an Ice Wizard better in this matchup, though, because it's it's a lot, it's basically a lot, it's more, it's it's better in the matchup, but it's alright, we'll try and we'll stand here. I kind of do want to throw on my poison, but I'm not going to, so he actually ended up lightning. Okay. I'm going to have to drop some troops. We're probably gonna lose the tower here. Actually, no. We'll, we'll, we'll survive. Our bandit's going off. Might have to throw it on the zap here. So no Inferno Dragon. That could be really, really key to us. He did use a lightning, so I can actually drop my other elixir collector if I want to. And he made a he made a interesting choice dropping that. <clears throat> you can see my voice is going out, guys. I'm sorry. But he's gonna obviously push that side. This time we're going to poison spell. That infer that um that night witch. So we'll see if he wants to push this push the side or not. I'm gonna be the first to drop. It's okay. I have a little bit more of a elixir advantage at this moment in time. It's gonna be pretty even once double elixir hits. See what happens. Wish me luck. But here here we're gonna drop the poison just to take care of all the goblins. The get some damage into that uh, the mega minion. That's the card that's really struggling, and the the bats are gonna die as well. So. See what happens. If he decides to throw it on a lightning. If he doesn't, we'll be okay. I'll throw it on my own bandit. Alright. We're looking okay. I'm gonna pump up here. See if he wants to lightning it. I'm fine. I'm fine with that. He's opting not to he basically just dropped a golem, which I think I it could turn around here. He could have his lightning, he could not, but. We're gonna throw it on the poison. Take care of the bats. There comes the lightning, okay. Took care of the main stuff, the big troops. We basically have to win on this push here. Cause it's 18 seconds. He only needs to cycle his lightning like one more time. We're probably gonna see another golem drop. That's fine, we have double P.E.K.K.A.s. I'm okay with this. We're looking good, looking solid. We just need to get our P.E.K.K.A.s there and stuff there. Come on. And we pulled it out. Nice. That one was that one was crazy. So that was a little scary. I thought he was just going to be able to cycle his lightning and get that damage done in there. And we were going to lose at the end. But we had such a big push. He must have not felt comfortable dropping a golem or recycling the lightning. So that's really awesome. We're 11-1 and one now. Continuing the match. <sighs> so... Let's get it. Uh, my goal mainly is to obviously get 20 wins, but on this run through, since I already have that loss early on, it was to, I forget what, I think I lost to a golem battle deck that had the Inferno Dragon, or I lost to the Expo. I think I might have lost to the Expo. All right, we have a Mortar. Uh, I'm not actually prepared for the Mortar right now, right now. I didn't even drop a troop on the ground. Well, I was actually, I'm actually surprised to see a Mortar. Typically, I'm used to seeing the Expo. So we'll take a couple of shots here. Um, Am I gonna drop the Electro Wizard? I think I should. I'm not. Pro I'm probably not gonna be able to pump up because the mortar cycles faster. But sucks that obviously every time I f it seems as though every time I face a siege deck, siege deck like the mortar, the expo it seems as though my P.E.K.K.A is at the bottom. Does anyone else feel that way? <laughs> like, come on, Clash Royale, that's so unfair. So I'm gonna have to throw on the expo. 
Or not the expo. I'm getting my, my cards mixed up here. My P.E.K.K.A. And he's probably gonna have some... I don't know what he's gonna drop, actually. We'll just, we'll just pretend like we know when we actually don't. I'm gonna cycle a poison. Expo getting some... Or, I keep mixing it up. Expo? Mortar. Getting some shots in there. Ah. He's on a fast cycle. You can see I'm not able to pump up. I don't know. I guess I didn't have any elixir to throw on the baby dragon, but this is rough early, guys. He had a much better opening hand, and I didn't have a really good hand at all to counter this. So I'm behind right now. So I'm gonna have to zap here just to save my tower, because we know he has a rocket. Everyone and their mother knows he has a rocket for a mortar deck. But I'm gonna be so sad if I actually end up losing to this. Because I have the counters, but I I, I don't I didn't have the hand to, to like, stop it basically, which really sucks. So here, we got the P.E.K.K.A this time. Double Elixir, you couldn't come any slower. Jeez, man. Come on, Double Elixir. Throw me a bone. Come faster, dude. So he's, he's, he's already cycled to his next Mortar. I'm basically just waiting for him to throw it down. Alright. We're getting, we're making him cycle some cards. Lose a little bit of Elixir. That's nice. There's the Mortar. Third on this. All right, we stopped that cycle. Dang it, it's locked on, guys. I don't think we got this. Like, if I had my freaking Pekka on the opening run, because he just needs to cycle now his his uh his rocket twice, and he's got, probably got a log. Come on. Jeez, dude. This is frustrating. This is why I hate siege decks. Wasn't prepared for this. Well, I thought I'd say I was prepared. I have a really good matchup. It's just like no P.E.K.K.A. Early, no way. Not much I can do now. He actually doesn't have the rocket. I'm gonna zap it just to pro prolong this. Maybe he makes a mistake. Uh, and already locked on. That's so unfortunate. Just getting screwed early because I don't have a counter for it. I know I'm complaining a lot here. But that sucks, dude. Dang it. So we're 11 and 2. Normally I could win that, but that was just a struggle. I couldn't pump up. I got out cycled. Didn't have the big heavy hitter to eat the damage from the, the mortar, which really is unfortunate. So I'm crying inside, guys. Lost to the mortar. Well, at least our opening hand on this one's a little better. We have a, a collector. We have a a, um, a pack of next. So we're gonna have to go nine to zero if we want to get twenty wins. Maybe I'll switch to that twenty win battle deck by him, just to see if I can at least get twenty wins. And then on my other account, use the battle deck that I I know I can win. Well, not know, but try my best with this one. So I'm pumping up. He's not dropping anything. So I'm gonna have a big advantage for a big push, depending on what he does. Unless he just gave up. He didn't give up. So. You don't typically see that. You typically see people try and counter your elixir collector or something. That was odd. Got the bowler. Interesting. Okay. First time actually playing with the bowler in this challenge. Um, it's going to stop my P.E.K.K.A. I think. Nope. P.E.K.K.A. still alive. What you got, bro? Alright. We got to the tower. Oh, he has a P.E.K.K.A. as well. Okay. We are pumped up. We probably are going to take his tower because the baby dragon's going off and he's not really dropping anything to stop it. And we're going to shred his P.E.K.K.A. with our Electro Wizard because it basically stops him from hitting us a few times. Um, He does have the Inferno. That was to be expected. So we're, the reason why I threw it on the poison is like, why not just take the tower make things easier on me? Um, I'm not sure, like, what this guy's plan was early, or if he has any damage spells. But, you guys can see, most people are teching in the Inferno Dragon to their decks, because it's it's a, a very tough card to deal with a lot of the times. But, really frustrated with myself losing to that freaking, freaking mortar, dude. If I would've won that one. God, man, I'm mad. 
see me raging a little bit. It's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll be able to get 20 wins for sure. And then probably tomorrow. Um, tonight I'm going to try as well. But like I said, most majority of my day is going to be spent after this um, with my mother for her birthday. So we'll see. Plus it sucks too because it's probably going to be the easiest on the first day for the challenge. Because a lot of the people that'll just do play the challenge because they have the three free entries, and they might not be maybe they been maybe they might not be like super competitive Clash Royale players, so easy wins. What I'm saying, no, just kidding, <laughs> but I'm not. I'm actually being serious. <laughs> All right, we got this one though. I don't have to really worry about the balloon. Lecture Wizard basically shut down the uh, Inferno Dragon, which is what we hoped for, and there we go. We're good game. So. As long as we can maybe get over 12 wins, because that, that'll look cool on the profile. Or get this legendary chest right away. That would be dirty. Alright, well, we'll just continue on. Well, basically, if this video is long, I'm sorry, it's because I won a lot. If we lose, that's cool. But I, I know m majority of people's goal is 14 wins to get the legendary chest. So if I can get that on my, my run through here, I'll be happy as well. <sighs> especially, especially... If I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have lost. I shouldn't have lost. I shouldn't have lost to the border. Man, I'm crying. But Shao, Shai, 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 I don't know. Shao here. I'm packing in that, dude. Miner, get that crap out of here. You're not taking that elixir collector. I don't even care, man. I saw him drop the elixir collector, so I know he has a heavy battle deck. Or something heavy. If he doesn't, I'm gonna be a little surprised. Oh my goodness, three musketeers. I actually was not expecting that. Um, probably most most likely will make. Actually, no, no heal. Okay, I'm glad we're not facing a heal. That's card's really annoying to deal with. We are facing the minion horde though. Miner will probably come out. If not, we got our zap ready. So no miner. Okay, cool. I'm I'm fine with how that actually turned out. And if he wants to miner this elixir collector, I got my bandit ready. So he's gonna pump up. I'm waiting for that minor drop. Just depends what side he's gonna drop it on. Come on. You know you wanna drop him. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Alright, we stopped. No! Electro Wizard! Thank you! Alright, we stopped the bandit. Or no, we stopped the miner. Dude, I'm getting really mixed up today, guys. I'm so sorry. We'll see what happens here. Oh no. Okay, well, we're holding up. We're doing all right. We're not getting out-cycled in pumps, which is the main thing when you play through Musketeers, because you don't want to lose early just because of that. He's pumping up. Let's see what comes out. Three Musketeers getting dropped. I'm throwing another P.E.K.K.A. I know I lost a little bit of Elixir. That's cool. It's fine. Um, I'm gonna throw the wizard, the electric wizard over here. Bandit saving it again. Baby Drake coming out. Throw another, another Pekka here. What you got, bro? Come on. Come on, Pekka, get there. Come on, get the hit! Get the hit! Yes! Okay, that's really good for us. But now we have a minion horde to deal with. Um, he's opting to do this side, so I have to be very defensive on that side as well. Basically, I just need to cycle my poison smartly. I don't even know if that's a word. Intelligently, I guess. <laughs> um, you know what? We'll just do this. I have double zaps, so I'm fine. Like that. One more poison, guys, and we got this. Which Trey Muskies. What side is he gonna push? Okay, it doesn't even matter. I was just waiting to see if he, what side he was gonna push or anything to, before I cycled for my poison, but we got it. GG's. Good game, dude. So at least we got above 12 wins because that's awesome because it shows in the profile. Like, that's the coolest part. Oh, not there. The profile, right here. 13 wins. Before the previous highest you could get was 12. And that, that wasn't a nose pick, guys. With the beard, the nose gets a little itchy, okay? 
sorry, it like tickles, tickles the front of your nose, and not picking that, just that like front part there. But one win away from the legendary chest. Let's see if we can get it. A bloodlust here. I don't even gonna. Hey, Azan. Hey, Azan. Lightning, lightning. What up, bro? This could be this could be devastating if I actually tried. I don't know. I don't know if that was a smart call there. Lightning. Okay. Cool with the lightning. At least I know I I can like proceed with this and not get my troops. Why isn't the packet dropping? I hate how it does that. I hate how it delays like that. I think it's a little bit of a glitch in the game. Might be internet connection. I'm not entirely sure, but it's been doing that a lot only like these last few days. Like these last two. And a lot of time I'm, I'm on my LT on my phone too and it still does that, which is like perfect. Not perfect, but very good internet. So, uh, interesting to see what this battle is. I don't really see the bats that often. It could be a hog, a hog cycle. Um, that, that lightning I do not agree with because I have my Dark Princess has a shield. Baby Dragon doesn't die to the lightning. Pekka doesn't die to the lightning. So we're looking pretty good here. And I can pump up if I want to. I'm going to pump up. I'm not going to push for the three crown. My troops are too low. I can't follow it up. Any damage we get, though, is this bonus damage, really. So here, we'll, we'll sit on the elixir collector over here. I don't want to put it in the middle because then it gives that it really gives him options with his lightning on which side he wants to push and do. So zap the bats, even trade. It doesn't look like this guy has an inferno tower, so that's why I can use both of my zappy dudes. I guess is what we could call them. But I really think I really think what hurt him was that that last lightning. I, don't, I really didn't agree with that one, which is fine, but good for us. So we push this other lane now. Mini P.E.K.K.A coming out. Bandit is a solid damage dealer to him, but that, that freeze, he's gonna get some hits in there. Probably one. Okay, that, we're fine with that. We're cool. We're still looking good. Got an Ice Wizard to deal with here. Um, well, we don't need to zap anymore. We can just Electro Wizard zap it. I think that was the mistake I made last time. Oops. Just realized my mistake. We are taking some tower damage for sure, though, but we're gonna, we're gonna keep an aggressive push here. We have a... He's got to get some tower damage, serious tower damage. If we keep the pressure on, he's gonna he's gonna fold eventually. So here, this time I'll zap those. Yeah, he, we got it. So, fourteen wins, boys and girls. All right. So we get the legendary chest, free legendary chest because it's on a free entry. Fourteen wins. Let's go. We're doing it for the profile. Just say that. Anything over. Anything over the 12 wins. Honestly, I only want the Night Witch because that's the only card that I need like uh, to get that 0 out of 1. You guys see how it's 1 out of 1 for the Legendaries? I have all of them. You guys are new to the channel. This is a fully maxed account except for the Cannon Cart and one Night Witch. That is max. It's just that it doesn't say 0 out of 1 when you max it out. So we'll continue on. Cutting down, cutting it down. Like, I would have been 15 and 1 if I would have beat the Mortar. So sad. But we can't think about that. We just got to continue on. Not worry about that. And just hope in the future if we play those Siege Jacks. Siege Jacks have the P.E.K.K.A. in hand. Because then you can drop it. But I'm not gonna... My opening hand I don't really like. I mean, it's okay, but I can't pump up and it doesn't have a P.E.K.K.A., which... Uh... Hopefully that doesn't come to hurt us. I don't really... I don't really know what to drop right now. See the Night Witch. The Night Witch is in the, uh, mostly in Golem Battle X, also in P.E.K.K.A. Battle X. So... I'm not sure. He's pumping up, so it's probably Golem or Pekka, either one. You know, you don't really see it in Three Musketeers anymore. A lot of times at first you did, but not so much right now. And I don't have my heavy hitter. He might. Oh, it's Three Musketeers. I'm wrong. I was wrong, guys. But uh, I don't really agree with his Elixir Collector placement, unless because basically we just get some damage done to it. He might have the heal though, or or that. That works too. Man, I, I fudged, I fudged, I fudged that one up. That really sucks. There goes my tower. So he does have the heal. I found that one out. And I missed my zap. I was a little late on it. Ugh. Well, now we're in a sticky, very sticky situation. Due to the fact that I was not, I was expecting Night Witch, Golem, or my like a pack of battle deck and I was completely thrown off guard there. That sucks. And I just I just simply played that bad. <laughs> Wasted the zap, because the, the, the battle I'm already hit the tower. 
Oh, no. Alright, well, he's going in for the tower. He's probably going to get that tower as well. I didn't... Even... This is going to be an epic comeback if we did somehow win this. I don't know if there's any really way to, unless I three crown him somehow on this push, like right now. He's going to heal those. I'll just get rid of the bats, dude. Alright, we got to go in here. Drop all of our troops. Can't really wait to formulate a push because we got to get a tower. And then we still got to get another. So hopefully we get this tower. Jeez, dude. Keep that out of here. Okay, we got one tower. We have 24 seconds. This is where it's tricky. We got to go in. Three muskets in the back. Cool. Calm and collected. We got to go in. Pekka, you're going the wrong way. You're going the wrong way, man. Dang it. Well, that's unfortunate, guys. Our streak ends there. We lost... Uh, yeah, I remember now. We lost the Expo, Mortar, Three Musketeers. The reason why I lost this one, I hate to say it, but it was just bad plays by me. So, let's see. I'm not perfect. But you, gotta, you basically have to be perfect to get 20 wins. So, that sucks. Let's see if I can get a Legendary out of this. No Legendary, but hey. The Epic I get is the one I don't need either, which sucks. So... I'm out of free entries now, this morning. Hey, I'm still at least happy I got that legendary chest. That's cool, but that's not what I really came for. I came for the 20 wins, guys, so we'll be back strong. Showed you guys the 20 win battle. Ooh, there we go, finally getting a cannon card. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely leave a like if you guys are hyped that uh, someone in my clan actually got the 20 wins and I was able to show you guys that. And I'm probably gonna experiment with this battle deck as well. 14 wins was like the the failure goal for me so i gotta get 20 wins for you guys be on the lookout for that video tomorrow tonight when i get home after spending time with my mother uh from my mother's b-day party I'll try my best to get that and then tomorrow morning as well so hope you guys enjoy the video make sure like we did and don't subscribe for more clash Royale videos and i'll see you guys later